Hi guys and welcome back for what's probably going to be the shortest video I've ever done. Now, I'm not one to get excited about hard drives or storage. Um, as you know, I tend to buy second hand for things like um, ZFS arrays, etc, etc. But there is some pretty interesting news coming out. So um, you can read about this on an Antect or Tom's Hardware. I think WCCF Tech have it as well. But what's really interesting is that Toshiba are launching a new line of hard disk drives. So they are um, labeled high performance hard drives X300 series. And they go from four to five to six to eight terabytes. They all run at 7,200 RPM. And they're all using a feature called perpendicular magnetic recording. If you don't know what um, that is, what PMR is, look it up. It's actually very, very good for a hard drive. They're also boasting a new algorithm to give them a boost in performance. Now, what's more noteworthy about this compared to other drives on the market, such as um, WD Reds or uh, Seagate Barricade Pros or even Iron Wolves, is the cost of these things. They are considerably lower in cost. So, so we'll just take a look here at the lineup. So basically, the eight terabyte version of this with 128 megabytes of cache is going to cost you $255. That is amazing value. Um, 6 terabytes, 189. 5 terabytes, 159. And 4 terabytes, $132. So a 4 terabyte drive for 132 bucks. That's pretty good value, especially with PMR recording. Now compare that to some of the competition. So this is 8 terabyte drives, guys. Um, <clears throat> Looking at the WD Red Pro, for instance, um, it has a cost of three hundred and twenty-nine dollars. However, you do get a five-year guarantee um, compared to the Toshiba eight terabyte drive, which is two hundred and fifty-five, as I mentioned before. Um, and if you look at the Seagate Barricade Pro, it's three hundred and twenty dollars. So, per gigabyte, you're paying a little over three cents. And that's the lowest I could find out there, with the exception of the WD80EZZX, but that only spins at 5,400 RPM. So, you know, it's going to have slower seek times, basically. But that's really it, guys. Um, like I said, I'm not usually excited about hard disk drives or storage in general, apart from large-scale storage. But with an 8 terabyte drive costing 255 bucks, um, I could see myself maybe not picking up an 8 terabyte maybe picking up um, maybe three or four of the four terabyte drives and building them into some sort of ZFS array, I would have thought, with an SSD cache. So that's it, guys. If you liked the video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, I'm really sorry about that. If, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and don't forget to share that content. We're really, really close to hitting a 1,000 subs, something I thought would never, ever happen, but... Literally, I think at the last check, I think I was about 70 short or something like that. When we hit a thousand subs, guys, there will be a giveaway. So take it easy, guys, and catch you again in another great video. Bye.